Hey, young people! Aw, oh, crybaby Beto. You remember Beto? Beto O'Rourke? Francis? Old Frankie? Frankie O'Rourke is upset because a Texas congressman tweeted him after he said he was coming to take ARs and AKs. A Texas congressman tweeted him saying, my AR is waiting for you. Uh, let's see. So O'Rourke says, hell yeah, we're going to take your AR and AK-47. And um, let's see where the other tweet is. So this, this guy is a congressman in Texas, and he writes in response to, hell yeah, we're going to take your AR. He writes, my AR is ready for you, Robert. And Beto starts crying. This is a death threat. This is what red flags laws are going to do, people. This is a perfect example of how crybabies like O'Rourke can run out there and accuse every gun owner of being a murderer and not smart enough to own a gun and blaming every legal gun owner because a crazy guy shoots up a Walmart. He can do that, but then he's going to cry red flag and tell this guy, a congressman, that you threaten me. There's no threat. My AR is ready. Big deal. My AR is ready. My guns are always ready. My car is ready. My dog's ready. My house is ready. How is that a threat in any way, shape, or form? So he cries, that's a threat, and he reported him to the FBI. <laughs> well, <laughs> here's my reply. <laughs> that's me, horsey guy. I put, Beto, you're a damn pussy. I got an AR waiting, too. It's not a threat, so stop crying. Beep, boy. My dog is waiting, too. My car is waiting, too. So, and I put two, two, different twos, just so some idiot can come here. Anyway, and then I put hashtag come and take it, hashtag don't tread on me. Big deal. Two people said they love it. Anyway, uh, and then, uh, let's see, some other knucklehead. Oh, here's the congressman that uh, wrote him this in Texas. Check this out. He showed up. So you're not gun free. So, why are you so he showed up. He's a representative for Deer Park. He shows up to the Texas Democratic Convention with a gun on, and he's handing out signs. So why would you be holding sign that this home is gun-free? If it's gun-free safe zone, and he got a no no gun-free safe zone, <laughs> and he handed these out to the Democrat, and the Democrats started crying. So they called the cops and tried to get him ejected because he's handing out signs. And then, of course, because he had a gun on, suddenly they were scared of him. I mean, it's just freaking outrageous how they can run around and do all this. But anyway, uh, one of the attorneys put on here, they posted the, the, the guy's name and, and said, here, you can file a complaint um, in Texas. And I put, I ain't filed, what, what I put on that? I don't know if idiot Beto was a lawyer. I would love to file a complaint. Is being an idiot a valid complaint? Anyway, uh, I was replying to uh, the knucklehead who, you reported this tweet. Oh, yeah. And then I reported his tweet because he was threatening the guy. But anyway, I thought it was kind of funny. Um, I still think it's funny. Somebody please tell me how my AR is ready for you, Francis. Robert Francis. Frankie. Little Frankie O'Rourke. Oh, he's so cute. When he's baby, he pinches his little cheeks. Anyway, he's crying. He's upset. Uh, by the way, when he was running for Texas, for a position in Texas, he said he didn't have a problem with legal citizens owning guns. Now he's on the presidential stage, he wants to come get your ARs and, a and AKs. Hmm. And all the conspiracy theorists out there, all you gun owners, think the Dems want your guns. They do want our guns, people. Because an unarmed public, it takes over 50% to overthrow a tyrannical government. And an armed public, it takes 3% to overthrow a tyrannical government. Because when a government gets the guns, they know they will never be challenged or stopped for any tyrannical act. And that's why they want the guns. But I digress. This is about Crybaby O'Rourke. All right, Beto. And I'm kind of disappointed that Beto isn't replying to me. But anyway, we'll end that there.